Let's talk only about plain gold jewellery. In plain gold jewellery, you naturally worry. Am I getting the right gold content for what I paid? And the means of verifying this globally is what is known as assay and hallmarking. And a hallmarker is just a laboratory which will test your gold jewellery and charge you for it and then tell you that this is the gold content in the jewellery that you've tendered to me. That was the original concept behind hallmarking. Government stepped in and said, no, 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 we need a proper standard. So the BIS uh, was charged with this. The BIS formed a standard for hallmarking and they commissioned, they licensed centres to hallmark. There are about 600 licensed hallmarking centres uh, some of them are good, majority of them exist on paper. I would say that out of the 600 odd assay and hallmarking centres in India, less than 50 would be centres that I would recommend people to go. The balance will just take jewellery, stamp it and give it back within 30 minutes. And this is a known fact. Therefore, from a consumer perspective, you go to a jeweller and the jeweller tells you, see, this is all marked jewellery and there are five marks on it. There's the BIS mark, there's the purity that's stamped on it, there's the centre that tested it, there's the manufacturer's logo and the year of assay. These are the five marks that you will find and they're all done on laser now. So, you know, ask for a magnifying glass and read it. The problem is you're assuming that it's been tested properly. Unfortunately, you may be wrong in your assumption. Therefore, even though it is hallmark jewellery, we still say, please go to a jeweller of repute. And the clear test for hallmark jewellery is if you're buying it from jeweller X and six months later you go to jeweller Y and say, this is the hallmark. Don't be surprised if Joella Y says, I don't trust this hallmark, I'm going to test it myself. However, if you went to uh, proper brands, and there are now quite a few recognized brands in India for jewelry, uh, there you could take their hallmark jewelry and go anywhere in the world, and you would be assured of getting the right purity. So the problem in India really is we license centers, but we don't we have no system of testing them. You need to, you know, do what we call random testing. You need to penalize centers. You need to revoke licenses. You, basically, you need to read the right act to, to a center because uh, the center is your assurance of trust. And if your trust is being betrayed, then naturally you're upset and therefore the center needs to go out of business. You go beyond the center and you say, I want to go to a reputed jeweller because I believe the reputed jeweller will go to a testing centre which does proper testing. You may still get cheated, but the chances are it will be much less as compared to you know, going to a jeweller on the street. Any jeweller will take his own jewellery back. The, the proof of the pudding is will I take somebody else's jewellery and say it's alright. Amongst the form, foremost in this is, is the risk. They are way above everybody else in the market and they, they've got an excellent system. You can go back whenever you want to Tanishq and all he will look for is the Tanishq mark on it and without question. You can take some other jewellery and he will say, please wait. He will melt it in front of you. He will test it in front of you and he will tell you, this is the gold content I found. So that's how you will find out. It's unfortunate, but that's what it is. You know, when you're dealing with a country the size of India, it's not possible for you to be uh, alert all the time. What we have suggested is that there are now trade associations. You have the Gem and Jewelry Trade Council, you have the India Bullion and Jewelers Association, you have GJEPC. There are now uh, about half a dozen reputed trade councils and what we've been proposing to them is the association must take the lead. The association must set up the assay and hallmarking centers because then it's the association's reputation online. 
that they will not compromise on and encourage their members. Listen, you can go to whichever hallmarking center you wish. But if you want to go to the right one, come to the one that the association has set up because then we'll make sure that there's no hanky-panky. Today, uh, that system doesn't exist. So it's, uh, it's really your luck. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs>